Hello friends of the lovely zoo game on called planet zoo. We are back in the franchise mode and it's already episode number five. Oh god, I even completely forgot uh, which episode it is. Anyways, in the last episode we did this wonderful gorilla habitat over here and um, you guys have uh, kept sending me some awesome awesome blueprints which we're going to use uh, in today's episode. Oh, look at that, I love how the gorilla is using all of that stuff over here. Oops, he's clipping in there a bit, which is my bad, to be honest. Uh, let me just quickly fix that. Because... Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me just quickly fix this, because that is totally on on me. Uh, so here we go. And then we can just uh, put that here, so that should be fine. You can still not jump out, right? Okay, no. Um, last thing I want to do is just give a bit of a support down here. Awesome. So at this point in time... I love it. Jeeks. I, I didn't know that, that this is kind of an animation. Just like sitting here. As I said, I had the gorilla way too less in my zoos till this point in time. But you could have, you know, you could have just placed yourself a little bit more. Oh, now that hurts. Okay. <laughs> we just stop uh, looking at them. But you can see that the zoo is actually doing pretty well. Like we're doing quite well financially. We are doing quite well in terms of um, our guests. Like we cannot really do more than drinks and shops like what we did over here. Um, now, as you know, I'm always asking for some stuff for uh, the episodes and uh, last episodes you've been sending me some backstage stuff which was awesome and uh, keep sending me backstage stuff in if you can however if you want to go on with some other stuff i really do need uh, some more stuff regarding uh, shops drinks and food that is definitely needed because i don't know what this game has or why the people are so thirsty and hungry all the time but it's like you can plop it down and they they keep buying like crazy madmen as you can see you know these shops are all filled in these shops are basically all filled in it's insane however today we are continuing our zoo you know that we have the little backstage area here now we have a lot of space given in this area for a connection now as i said we will have a bit more of a decentralized zoo this time that means we will have more chunks of uh, you know areas that serve several um, habitats and as i said at the beginning we will have basically this is the central hub for these two habitats and then this is the hub for well three habitats in total and then this is how we go on every time we set up uh, for a new episode uh, or a new habitat i should say we are going to have at least um one hub for two habitats sometimes maybe three but i want to keep it down to two um, and then also that this area can serve a food court like that. So following this logic, we will have now one more habitat that can go in here. And then the next bit and the next area will be fed by another backstage area. Talking of which, we have some awesome blueprints and I want to just lay out one of these things already because that is just too good to not use. Now we have this wonderful backstage element, the empty metal shelf. And I'm quite sure this is from, let me just quickly check, um, that one is provided by, where is that metal shelf? Wait a second, oh god, I need to... I need to scroll all the way down. You guys are insane and sending all this stuff in. It's from JJK in my uh, Discord server, but I'm guessing the name was a bit different on Steam. The name on Steam is Tanya. So I'm not sure which name I'm going to use, but uh, this is from Tanya. So it's an empty metal shelf and I love that one. And we're just going to put that here um already just to have it and then we can also bring that into this area we will actually make this a bit more nice looking in the end but i just love this piece um and also as i saw it's not that many pieces it's only 22 pieces cleverly done with the metal i think it's a metal fence um and it's kind of cool done also it's in in size so it's really cool i really love it and yeah, so there are, again, as I said, a few more view blueprints we are going to use. Um, I know that Repstar also sent in a lot of stuff. And then we have this wonderful wooden animal info, <laughs> um, info panel. It's very simple, yet really beautiful. Let me just quickly show you. It's, it's so simple, you know, it's so simple. There's even like a little um, education speaker hidden in there. And I'm thinking to, to use that one as well. Uh, this one is made by, yep, I'm not really sure who that was. Uh, I have to check that, double check that quickly. Uh, it is made by, I'm gonna, oh, it's also by Tanya. It's also by Tanya. I think I'm just, I just took it from the sh shop. <laughs> um, and then we also have, where is that one? Oh yeah, there we go. This is the supply building by Haribo. And that one is 
just incredible. And we're definitely going to use this one. Um, there's quite a bit in here. So, oh God, there's like everything in here. Let me just check which kind of buildings are in. Oh, he didn't put any in. Oh, that's awesome. So I can put some in myself. That is great. So I'm going to use this one, especially in one area. I'm going to put that down already because this is definitely a building that makes sense to be put in the back here. So that is kind of creating another connection. And uh, we can definitely do a lovely little backstage area all over the place here um, because that make for me personally that makes the most sense um, it can also clip in a little bit just so that this is yeah, almost like a second entrance to that area so let's put that down here awesome oh god I love it it's such a beautiful building um, I think I would even like to Oh wait, they, they are already in. Okay, so let me just quickly. So how is how come that this is? Do I live? Okay, first of all, let me just quickly paint this with some heavy soil because that is annoying me. Come on, let's just do it that way. There you go, and then we should be able to just lower the terrain down just so much that we see that already, and then I guess we yeah, uh, that is it. Ooh, wait a second, that was not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to flatten it to the phone. Ooh, okay, I, ca I cannot go that deep. So let's just click one more time and then do it that way. Yes, that is a lot better. Now I'll kind of connect this a bit more. All right. Um, yeah, we will take care of this a bit more in the future uh, when we connect all the backstage areas. And the cool bit is he even provided me with this wonderful asset uh, on its own, which is like a water tower, water, water tower we're going to use as well in here. But now we want to do what we need to do. And this is the next habitat, which is going to sit over here. And then we do have to check how we bring in the next area with some shops. As I said, food and drink shops are inevitable next time. Um, and honestly, you guys are more informed than I, than I am because I have no idea which kind of habitat I'm going to do. I think I'm going through for the Bonobo, but I'm not entirely sure. I had also the idea of maybe maybe putting the red panda in. I mean, we still have the two red pandas available over here. Um, they are also from Asia, so they would still contribute to the challenge we have and also to make this like the Asian area. Let me just see. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Where are the... There we go. There are the challenges. Um, so we can still not... Wait, the target is complete and I cannot even claim anything more. Oh, well, then we don't even need to focus on the target anymore, which is okay, I guess. Um, vet research is done. Okay, I guess then I definitely want to build like a bonobo habitat over here. I haven't done too much with the bonobos yet. Uh, also, I have no clue how much space they need. Let's check that quickly. Um, they are endangered. Yes, I know. They need they need 780 square meters and 80 square meters of climbable space. All right. Now we can actually change the pathing a little bit over here. And I want to go into a bit more of a of a nice bigger plaza area because we haven't done plazas too much in here. And I think it's it's very clever to have some more space available. So let's kind of bring that in. So we just curl that around here. So we might be able to bring in another habitat there. I'm just gonna make sure that we connect this here. There we go. Uh, just to make sure that, you know, they have some room to spread the people over here. I just want to make sure that it's not going to be too crowded. And then we are going to make the habitat here. I think this time, I'm not sure if I... I do want to have like a solid kind of uh, wall going on that side over here. Um, so that they cannot see what's going on. So you really have to go around that corner. So, okay, we, we're gonna basically start off doing this. And then as always, I'm just going to quickly make a break and uh, then showing you the final result at the very end um, and, and just doing, so, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do, but like going to, well, five and a half, well, five, five thirty is fine. Um, and then I'm going to make this way shorter because I wanna curl it. And I do have an idea how to make this even look good, but we have to see if that works. So also let's just bring that all the way over here. That is what I wanted to do so that the Bonobo Habitat really gets the viewing from over here. And talking of which, I think we have this terrace going on like that. We have the backstage here. So if we build like a, 
wall there in here. That should work just fine. Mm, I'm thinking a lot out, out loud here, guys. So maybe some water feature down here could be already what we need. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure if I if I wanna if I wanna do it that way because I want to make sure that we have a bit of a you know difference going on. So this one is kind of nice, I guess, with the viewing. Um, and that one is two with like going in. But maybe this time I just don't want to make and like an, like you know I don't want to make them go in. I was thinking of a bridge maybe that crosses all over completely, and then we just have two sides of the habitat. But it's kind of complicated to bring that in here, so we would need to build the bridge from. But you know what? We just try that, okay? However, the people would then ah. Uh, no, we have to plan that a bit better for another habitat because I don't want them to stand all over the place there. Okay, so what we do, we just basically uh, make sure that we carve this in and we're just going to get in with the water um, ditch down here. I think that is what I'm going to do this time. You know, they, they are not swimming, so this, this could be... Yeah, that is more like a bonobo island. I guess that's what I'm going for now. So we can also end this habitat in a more natural way. I think that's a good idea. So they have plenty of space there. Just bring the water in. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. That's that's how we need to do it. And just go in. You have this lake and place over here, and we can just do some some gardening and a low 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 fence, and that should be fine. Mm, even though this is maybe too small for them, I think I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make the ditch a little bit shorter then, and also curve that a bit more over here. So the habitat is is a bit bigger a bit bigger than. And yeah, we can also make them a lot of climbing frames and stuff so that they can, yeah. Also, this might be another request, like climbing frames are something I really want to see more often as well uh, in here because, yeah, they are, I think they are just underrepresented, if you want, uh, in total, like in general, in not in the game, but also in the workshop. So I really want to see more of those things. Um, can I now finally build the wall? Yeah, I can. Okay, I think we're just going to... I think that's fine and the rest will be done now with the natural border because and honestly we don't really need to focus on that anymore. I'm gonna make the rest with some stones and I'm gonna... Yeah, this is the one thing I still want to connect. Here we go. So they just do not take that route over there. Okay, so what I want to do before I connect the habitat, which we could quickly do so I know how big it is. Um, yeah, because I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to just start off doing this all, like, I don't want to cut everything, okay? So last time I might have done a little bit too much already with the gorilla habitat, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not really keen on making this all the time, you know, this is not what I really want to do. I really want to show you the progress still, so it's, it's not meant to be just like, hey, you know, this is, this is the habitat I did and now, you know, you have to take it. I really want to talk you through and show you how my thinking was and how my, you know, process was building that one. Mm, let's see that we can bring that. Okay, so that that's uh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so how big is this habitat? It is. Oh well, it's it's totally enough. Totally enough for the bonobos. Totally enough. All right. So how long is this episode? already 13 ish minutes okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna do a basic habitat so far and then we're gonna do the final uh tweaks and, and the kind of uh, fencing down here and stuff we we do this in real time so this cut is not going to be too long okay so i'm going to talk to you quite in a few seconds after the cut all right we are back and you can see that there is a little bit of a progress it's as i said not dramatically but i did a good a good amount of preparation i guess so we already gave the bonobo um a little bit of a hot shelter we gave the bonobo already uh, quite a bit of um stuff we have around here and i as i can uh, already tell you i spent a whole bunch of uh, yeah conservation credits uh, to get these animals basically we're slowly running out of these but that's not too big of an issue we have the bengal tiger here which uh, just matured on the market and we also uh, have low welfare but this should be better in a bit um, because I'm already as I can say yeah I'm already improving that dramatically so you can see that there is this is already um, already done so much and yeah we will do the plans tropical Africa will be done in a bit um, I, I just kept the game on pause just quickly to to check all the stuff that it needs um, but we need to first of all do the main thing and this is really going into um, climbing for the animals and um, this can be done again um, as per our uh, blueprints I have in here already 
or I need to build this myself. So, well, the thing is, um, I do want to do uh, some stuff like that again, but you can see that this is um, pretty much not fitting into this as well. Also, we have to use this over here. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to, first of all, go and search for some climbable trees they have from Africa. So what we are going to do is we're going to say biome, tropical, and obviously continent is Africa. So, and the last thing we're going to go, oops, uh, we're going to say filter is property climbable. Here we go. And this is all we have. So it's not that much though. Um, but I want to have like something really cool uh, this time in here. I'm really hoping that this will work out. So I'm gonna make like a gigantic hammock design in the middle where they hopefully will climb on. Um, I will I will see how that turns out. But um, yeah, for the moment that should be it. Also, I wanna use this huge ass tree. Sorry for, <laughs> so for my words, but this is what this tree is. Okay, so it's a hu freaking huge tree. I'm going to put this here to the side. Hopefully they cannot jump out of the habitat because I still want to make sure that this is in the sun. Well, maybe we need to bring that over to the side then. I think that looks even better. Like considering, yeah, that looks that looks a lot better. So we have it over there. I just want to see how much of your plant and climbing need does this fulfill? Not um, necessarily not much. Okay, so well, I think because that tree is not really accessible for you, right? Uh, let's put it again in and then see what uh, he is saying then about this. It's not really climbable, is it? Seems still not to be very much climbable. Let's just pull that even further in. This one is just walking over here into as if he wants to escape. Let's see. Okay, it still seems not to be really climbable at all. No, it is. And it, it is climbable enough for him. Okay. Anyways, we have we have put these um, plants in. Now you can see we have some vines. We have some lianes and stuff. Uh, we're definitely going to use this as well. Uh, maybe we can already put one. Oh my god, which what was that? Um, so first of all, we can already tell if we might be like 12 meters, 16, 8... Four meters is too short. Okay, so we're gonna use the eight meter lion and then also just drag it all the way up so that it does connect on a higher level. Maybe we just need to bring it all down and then just curl this so that we are in the middle and then, oh my God. I just going to need to bring this very high up. You know what we do? We're just gonna put this down and then we relocate this tree over here. That makes the whole thing a bit easier. Here we go. So you go all the way up into this area. Awesome. Now, it's going to be a very interesting uh, design. Um, they are both stressed. Condo is stressed. Uh, well, I'm going to make this um, sure. Also, oh, we have to rename a lot of animals uh, due to the people that were giving us all the blueprints. We will do this, though. Um, no worries about this. Um, but first of all, let me just do the rope design. I think I'm going to first of all go over here and um, are they just somehow... A little bit happy at least because I want to you know what no we keep the game on pause and we click do this because uh, otherwise I I run into some issues and I don't want to do this okay so first of all let's type in rope okay now this is what we have so I'm gonna do the normal first of all no blueprints they do annoy me so we have the normal two meter straight rope this is what we want to use in the center Oh god, okay, so that is it. And then we're just gonna tilt that slightly. And just gonna <clears throat> do this on this side as well. I could have just have that easier. Well, well whatever. I'm gonna bring that in like so. Okay. Now we create a building out of that. Awesome. And we just uh, have to see that we kind of make a triangle a shape with it. And this should be, if I'm not mistaken, nine, not 90 degrees, right? No, it's. That should be right. Oh god, my math is, is broken, I guess. Um, that should be fine. And then, let's see, that way. No, it, wa it was totally fine. It was totally fine, okay? My math is not completely broken. That's fine. Oh god. All these years gone in and uh, still it works. I'm just happy. Okay, so now we are going to just drag all that stuff in the middle. Like so. And then... Yeah, now this is um, going to be a very interesting thing because I have no idea how exactly we can move these things so that they not clip too much into it. I 
I do want to work maybe with the shades as well. So we do have all these pieces. So we could now work with these shades. Okay, so that was, was I, uh, what I was fearing. But uh, maybe it works out already. So let's see if we can just bring... Hmm. I mean, obviously it's, it's more like that, but... Okay, let's try to bring this into the middle. Yeah, I think we're gonna work it out with this piece and not just like, oops. Um, oh well, let's just drag that all the way down and then delete these ropes pieces. Um, hopefully this is uh, going to be easier for them. Okay, let's just gonna do it that way. And now we need to navigate these things into the middle. Actually, I think it might be easier to take these pieces and then just like that and then um, you know what we're just gonna rotate this completely and go and bring that in right so this is where we do it and now let's bring it all the way down like this okay the I need to um, I, I will definitely see how this has to be allocated but um, we're gonna see oh god I need to use the angle snap why do I always keep forgetting it okay so here we go just drag it all the way up a bit over here so here I go just so that we are in I should have also used the angle snap in terms of the rotation down but well we will will hopefully be able to still position that nicely I think that looks already pretty okay ish for me now let's just do the same that should be it all right okay we are basically done with this design so far here we go and just rotate it until it connects. Awesome, so that is it. And we're definitely gonna make this one look a bit more like a normal hammock design, like in this color scape. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. So that looks like a really nice enrichment piece. Um, I'm not sure if, if this is the size I'm, I'm really gonna go for, but we're gonna just drag that over and see how that looks because having different layers would also be pretty cool, I guess. Now, let's just do this in a way that it would connect to both of these uh yeah something like that i mean we, we will hopefully still be able to tie them together and then we're just going to copy this and just going to bring that into a different location and we also tie them to the <coughs> uh, to the palm trees but we also have to connect them then somehow uh maybe with ropes maybe something else but you do want to have this also duplicate it to here and just bring it down there let me just see how that looks from the guest perspective Looks kind of cool. Um, and now let's tilt this a little bit, okay? So make this whole thing even more complicated and just tilt them slightly. Just slightly, not, not that much, okay? I just want to make them be leaning towards the guests a little bit, like this and like that. And just move it into a different position. Yeah, that should be fine, okay. And these are like little hammock beds now. Nothing more, nothing less, okay? So let's go for rope and then we're going to take the four meter straight one connect this to here and now just rotate this all the way until it connects with the wonderful wonderful tree yeah well okay i need to <laughs> uh with the palm tree um but just rotate this eh, is that the right no it's not oh it is certainly but uh, okay there we go this is where it connects Awesome, and then we're going to use these pieces as connection pieces because they look kind of cool. And also we kind of need something like that on the tree. Awesome, that works too. Yeah, as if it's tied, oh my, well, not like that, but as if it's tied around the tree. Yeah, that is exactly how this should be. Right, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense to me. Well, at least to me, okay? So <laughs> if anyone else wants to complain, but for, for me, it makes sense, okay? So we're just gonna make the same over here and then just like drag it in. You know what? I'm gonna make a little cut until I've done this because that's kind of boring for you and I don't wanna spend too much time on that. Uh, we're gonna see each other after next cut. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the work has been done, as you can see. This is still a wonderful little hammock design. I really think this can even be kind of made as a little blueprint. I, I think it kind of turned out to be really beautiful. Um, and also considering the short amount of time I spent doing that, I'm, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. And uh, let me just quickly say hello to Hasaboop and also to Helena. And, uh, oh, the Gola is about to have offspring. Which one is it? Oh, it's the one in our 
Oh, that's awesome. It's it's the one in the backstage area already. So yeah, you can see, oh, I, I made a huge mistake. So people running towards us uh, for new stuff here. Um, I just need to quickly pause the game because obviously we want to make the money out of this and hence we can finally use our designs I had, uh, you know, already mentioned at the beginning of today's episode. But first of all, let me just throw down some bins and also in this kind of sense some benches here because I know that they will all be going mad in a few seconds. Also, can I just put that onto the slip of grass here? Yeah, that works, awesome. Okay, so let me just quickly get my uh, lot. How can there even be, like, why is there some stuff on the ground? Just throw that stuff in some bins, okay? We, we have so many, so many bins everywhere here. Like, everywhere on the map there are bins and you don't need to throw that into the ground. You, it's just not necessary. Oh my God everywhere okay i think i'm gonna need some more caretakers already because we are talking about an efficient zoo so we definitely want to make sure that this works as well so i'm gonna put down all these freaking donation boxes already around the corner here we have that and also now let me just go into my blueprints and use this wonderful wooden education board of tanya and uh, yeah there you go this is it i'm gonna place this down here uh, is that one building though? No, it's not. So I'm gonna use the blueprint again and I'm gonna bring this down. Let's just move it all back over here a bit more. So because with the education speaker in there, that might make sense to, you know, just have it that way. So this is the Bonobo and down here in the, oh God, I can just even, there we go. This is also the Bonobo and now let's just increase the level. There we go. That should be fine. The Bonobos should not be too annoyed by it because it's definitely on the other side of the water water uh, that should not to be uh, not be too big of an issue okay let's also increase the volume so oh well that's already the interference area oh well then we might just need a third one but for the moment that should be fine and now let's keep them keep them throwing the money at us it's all fine because the first thing we need to do now is to employ some new people um, including a new keeper and this new keeper is stop hey where are you running where are you running uh inspecting gorilla okay so that means we are running out of keepers so we might just want to employ the first jumper then okay but first of all we need to make sure that this is the new habitat over here and then we have basically is that the that's the work zone um it is a keeper hut large and it's the staff room right so this is the bonobo awesome and what we need is a first area jumper habitat as well or like no it's it's actually a work zone um let me just get this done new work zone and this is going to be that one that one this this and this you can go to this kitchen to that kitchen you can use that kitchen and this one and you can also use what's that oh, that's a workshop we don't need this is that a kitchen yeah okay and this is jumper entrance area I really need to remember the names okay anyways so now let's employ actually one more staff member first one more keeper and also I think we just employ three caretakers and um they can actually already be jumper first area why is the, oh the game is on speed this is why okay um that one stuff member who's it go where's it gone i i just employed there we go you are the keeper without yeah okay so you are getting the jumper entrance area and my caretakers well actually you know what we just keep the the caretakers for free at the moment um and hopefully that they will improve over time okay so now my animals in here they should be somehow what's what's going on social space space is an issue oh it's not enough climbing space okay well then we have to we have to give you then some more climbing if that is needed, but that's fine. We can just give you some pre-made climbing rigs here in the back. I don't want to spend too much time on that, okay? So this is definitely, definitely not what I want. But um, never mind. We are going to, we're going to use. This one is pretty nice though. Uh, but let me just quickly put that here. There's a good reason why I'm doing this. I just want to make sure that these things are gone because they mainly destroy 
the whole landscaping and this is definitely something I don't want to have now let's just wait I don't I didn't even want to tilt that I want to yeah rotate it a bit so here goes I just want to make sure that they cannot jump on top of this building and then we also using the box I mean they will love the box but I don't want them to give the box as of now okay so this is good uh, let me see uh, if that gives them more area to grow. Oh, that's already it. Wait. Okay, they cannot access that. Okay, many things. Tickets are underpriced. Oh god, what a stressy, stressy area now. Uh, let's go to 25 and 20 if that helps. And now, okay, let's go to Habitat and Enrichment Climbing. And we're gonna say Blueprints only. Um, and then... Actually, we don't have really that many pre-made ones in here, though. I mean, we have this one, we have the gorilla one, we have... I mean, this is the... this is a huge thing which always helps. Uh, uh, okay, we're gonna put this down here. I'm gonna get rid of this one. We already have some hammocks in here, we don't need more of those. And then I'm just gonna get rid of... wait. I wanted to just enter this building, there you go, and then just get rid of all these things and we're gonna get this twisty thing put in here so in the in the shade and then we just yeah why not just connect that to the tree that should be awesome and just hope that they cannot jump for example on that one so i'm just gonna raise this piece quite a bit and then drag that out and in case if that doesn't work, we still need to bring something else down. Okay, now we have all the bonobos running around here. Uh, just checking the accessible area. Now that's all fine. And yeah, okay, we are pretty... The navigable area is a bit smaller. But that's, you know, that shouldn't, too, uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue. Because now we're just going to use some of the rocks to increase... I mean, it for, for people who know the game, they will be a bit confused now. But I'm using actually rocks to... Um, make the navigable area a bit bigger by just having a bit of overhanging rocks here and there to just go a tad bit more into the water <laughs> and then uh, I don't even know why I still find that funny it's, it's actually not funny but I'm still like uh, wait what is that now recalculating yeah it's back in the green awesome and they are about to mate. Okay, so we might run into some issues if this is uh, this is done. But yeah. So also, what I also did is I already planned a planter in the back here where we will put down some, you know, some just uh, very easy plans in terms of just making sure that this all looks somewhat nicer. Um, but first of all, let's go back to tropical and Africa just to make sure that we give them a few more plants in this habitat. Now we can actually keep the game running. Keep the game running, running, because we are in a more tropical environment. So that means we need some more tropical plants. Uh, this is actually otherwise looking very dull and, you know, not really inviting, I should say. Inviting is really the one word I was looking for, okay? So I'm going to put this one down. I don't know if I was careful enough there. Um, also have this tree, but I, yeah, again, I don't want to block too much of the area. So let's do it that way. This one dude got blocked, uh, got boxed, why ever, who knows. i put this one down. I think that's looking quite okay for the moment. So it's it's playing a lot with this thing. I think um, they definitely need some more enrichment, right? Yeah, enrichment is basically non-existent for them. Uh, we're just gonna check habitat and then let's go for all enrichment. And we're gonna say blueprints off. Okay, so we I think we can just give them another box. We can give them a puzzle. I think it would be cool if they can access that on top of here. Uh, let's see enrichment card box. Oh, they can. Oh, that's good. That's good. So let's get with the termite mound. Um, is that also working on top here? Yeah, that is working too. Oh, great. Okay, so if that is still working on here, that would be. Oh, that's ace. Okay, so we have all the enrichments in a very nice spot. Um, oh god, this is gonna be very, very interesting. Well, why and how is that obstructed? It's not. Just let, let me just place this one. Thank you. Sprinkler is placed. Uh, is there anything else? Okay, so this is all done. So maybe just give them this kind of mirror thing over here. 
Oh my. We do also have the grab ball. I want to give them some stuff to carry up on top of these things, but it seems almost like they don't want to. Okay, so I'm willing to give them some more stuff that is really, you know, let's try to bring this up to this one. I don't know if that works. Let's just see. Well, it's on top. I don't know. Can, can I access this? The bobbin? Oh, yeah, it can. So that's kind of cool. Even though I'm not sure. Well, you know what? No, that's too high up. I don't want to. I don't want to have it that high up. Uh, we're going to put this one down. Awesome. Food enrichment is, is definitely enough. Um, let's get the Christmas gift box. Okay. So that they need to go here. And we need to give them some drinks. The bonobos are about to mate the whole time. Which is great. But still, it's it's kind of... It's kind of crazy how, how quick that went. Uh, but yeah, we wanted to have some animals that make some uh, babies. And here we go. Oh, by the way, one thing I didn't really talk about uh, yet is this wonderful uh, wall design I did here. And this should be um, a little nut to where they're actually from. And this is Africa. And I wanted to kind of give some, some African vibes to it with the wall design. You know, it's a bit subtle in the background. But I kind of feel it, it does the job and it looks kind of cool. So, yeah, that's why I put this here. Now, let me just quickly paint some f some sand. Oh, some is good. This is like crazy. So, just sand down here to make it a bit brighter, the water feature. Awesome. That's it. And the last bit we are doing for today's episode, which is a little bit longer than I expected. But, okay, that's fine. The habitat looks awesome. So, that I think it's, it's kind of what we can do. Now, um, it's all fine. They are all doing good. I mean, as soon as we do have the babies, we will definitely have a little bit of an issue with the overall navigable size. And we might need to make the habitat a bit bigger. But I think it kind of fits itself in well in here. So maybe we can extend that a bit to the side. Just gain a bit more space here. But for the moment, I'm quite happy with how it is. And yeah, I also prepared this little thing so it doesn't... Oh god. Okay, never mind then. Uh, let me just go into this thing. And hopefully it works if I have to. Because that is nasty. Oh! Sean Sarcastic is about to get offspring. Awesome. Awesome! Good job! Good job, Shot and Sarcastic. Good job! Also, naming the animals is also something we need to do. God, what a stress in today's episode. Man, this is uh, making me crazy. Crazy. Um, it's quite a hard turn here. Just gonna make sure that this looks somehow good. Ah, well, the donation box is kind of sunken in here, but... <laughs> I couldn't care less at this point in time, I'm sorry, but it's just like I don't want to bring this into the position and then everyone is happy having having these things. We also need some more plants that go in here, but yeah, for the moment that should all be fine and just like keep that flowing design to go over here. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Now we do have this. We have the bonobos here. We have the donation boxes in good places. Oh, I love it. Okay, so last bit is... Okay, so one, one more blueprint I have, which I'm a big, big fan of, and I need to find it first. Where is it, though? Uh, wooden bin. I like the wooden bin, too, but... Um, oh, maybe, maybe we can just do this here. And then just plop that on. Uh, is there not, like... There we go. I needed this one. It is a backstage kitchen done by Kibele and I love, love, love that one. We are going to use this. First of all, we're going to use this here. Look at this piece. I am absolutely in awe with this one. Um, the cabins look so great and awesome. I mean, this this whole thing really looks like a kitchen. It's, it's really what you would expect from a, from a wonderful backstage kitchen and I am such a fan of that. Like, Really, I'm just gonna arrange this quickly like so. Awesome, and then I just merge this down, so. Okay, now that should be it in terms of the height, is that okay? Can someone please come over and just have a look? Yeah, that, that's nice, come over. I think that's the height we need, yeah, that makes sense. Look at that, look at this kitchen. Oh, that, this is exactly the stuff I need. This is the stuff I need. It looks kind of tropical, and as soon as we have done the whole thing a bit b better and nicer, it should all be good. You know what? We just put another kitchen here, just because I'm such a big fan of it. Um, and honestly, uh, to just make sure that this looks nice, we're gonna give it a little bit of a rope. A uh, rope? What? Roof. It's also with R at the beginning. Uh, quite the same. And I'm just gonna bring this 
like a little thing over here. Yeah, that makes sense. And then we need some we need some supports here and there, but we're gonna care for that later. Okay, awesome. Oh my god, this is the perfect frame to end the episode because that is ridiculously beautiful. Look at that, guys. This is already the screenshot of today's episode. Oh my god, I am absolutely freaking amazed by it. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Can we just go quickly in Tejit Cam? I just want to make sure this looks good. Tejit Cam, awesome. Because zooming in might make look. Oh my god, look at look at this beautiful habitat. Oh god, I'm I'm so in awe with the habitat and with the hammocks over there. It's just like, oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, look at that habitat. <laughs> oh god, so okay, this is um. One of the most beautiful things I've done in franchise ever, I guess. I mean, you guys are here to judge, but I am most certainly very happy. However, I think I forgot about making the water. Wait a second. Water? Water purifier. We need a water purifier in the backstage here, because otherwise we will run into some severe issues. Let's do this quickly, because I will definitely forget that in the next episode. Now let's go to facilities and now the water thing. Now the problem will be... Okay, so if I will be able to squeeze that somewhere in here. Okay, maybe we need to move you quickly. And put the water purifier in this corner. I think that's the best space to put it in. Uh, just that way. Are we touching it? Yeah, we're touching the water just touching it but that should be fine is that connecting to the pathway it's not really connecting um well that's a little bit of an issue well we we have a connection here but it doesn't really use it um yeah well okay so what we need to do we need to use this corner quickly i think that's what we do just gonna delete this 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 and this and then just say Go in here and use the facility and use the water, water, and then we should all be good by putting down this one. Go around the corner. I just want to connect this first. There you go. And then, wait, are you telling me now that this stupid thing? Okay, maybe we just connect this first. Yeah, well, I think maybe that makes more sense then. Yeah, or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Okay, so... How am I supposed to bring it over? Is this working now? Is this working now? Do I really need to bring this all the way around now? Really? Like, seriously? Wait, it did work, didn't it? Oh my god, this is some really weird stuff here. Okay, so yeah, that works. <laughs> um, well, never mind, I guess. Well, you have to take that turn. I mean, I mean, it is what it is. Okay, you you gotta have to turn that way. Then I don't care. Um, yeah, no, we're gonna put this shelf somewhere else. Then yeah, why why, why not here? Why not here? Okay, so let's hit play again. That was so stupid. Sylph is visiting us. Oh my lord, where's Sylph? Sylph, hey, where? Wait. Wait, oh, he's he's watching the small exhibit. Wait, where is he again? This is oh my lord, this is absolutely sylph. This is this is like so sylph. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> oh my god, this is like really, this is really sylph. Okay, so what what are you up to, sylph? Let's see. Thoughts. What kind of monster just dumps their litter on the ground? <laughs> Always caring about the environment. This dude as well, right? Yeah, this this is this is definitely sylph. How much money do you have got with you? You know, I'm all in here for the money. Every time it's all about the money. Hey, wait, how, do, how much money? 113. Ah, well, I have some ATMs, okay? He paid 25 euros to come in, which is, uh, which is nice. Oh, I, give me money, yes. Or whatever I get, 50. Okay, that's, that's not too much though. Uh, the puzzle feeder can, oh, the f you're telling me that the staff member is not able to get up here. Seriously? Okay, well then. Gonna bring this down here. If it, it is better, bring that down here. Problem solved. Okay, whatever. There we go. Vet research is done. Um, talking of the vet research, though, we need 
Bonobo is not researched. I think it's time for a second vet. And I guess... Oh, oh my god, is that crowded? What a crowded zoo already. So, vet, 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 vet. The next episode, guys, will be focusing on, on, on getting everything done, I guess. Um, because otherwise, we will run into some severe issues on a later stage. And that is something I don't want... Wait. I don't want to do. At all. Okay, so I think we made a fantastic job today. Um, this habitat turned out to be really, really wonderful. I can only say this is one of my most favorite habitats I've done in franchise mode so far. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And now up to the next episode. I will name the people in the next episode. I'm so sorry, but I will definitely need to um, end this here. And next episode, we're going to name all the people that did already contribute with the blueprints. I promise. So make sure to tune in again uh, when we name you. And if... Uh, you have time, please make sure to drop in some climbing frames and stuff for us uh, so that we can use them in the next, uh, you know, habitats for maybe climbable animals, whatever, uh, or animals that can climb. I should say that this way. Anyhow, thank you for watching, guys, and welcome and whatever in the next episode. Oh, God, I, I need to stop my, my words, my English. Have a good time and stay safe, everyone. Goodbye.